You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. I tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Origami killer. <laughs> Wait, different game. House fire. A bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. He's a man of few words, isn't he? I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. You've been thinking of moving up to a 45 the entire game, man. Just make up your damn mind already. Jeez. Is he in some kind of trouble? You think the vice boy's giving me Damn it, Rusty. Not Rusty. But whoever your name is, your car is awful. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. about Rancho Escondido. Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Forget I... I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burnt to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. I don't know why, but Biggs was my favorite partner. I can't put my finger on exactly why myself. He's just an angry old man. <laughs> I don't know. Personality I like. Reoccurring theme. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh no. I just had Mexican food. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? You'd run into it if you're the one who set the fire. What are they doing? Prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Oh, that's so creepy. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. 
This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys, on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, son. So he's a water heater. Looks like the same model. Oh, Mr. Varley. God. You watch from here. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Boondockers. Must be a military thing. Hey, a newspaper. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. There's our man. Ira is his name. 
and fire is his game. Okay. Let's conduct our interview. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. No, you weren't. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Another doubt. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Another doubt. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. It's actually truth. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Folded piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. This guy from Fringe. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Operator, give me R and I. All these cops. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. 
Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. Uh... We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Jesus, Cole. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? <laughs> Turn on the horn, man. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? The shame about Chep. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Wanna bet? They'll have kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. son of a bitch. Okay already. Black and blue. Had a bad break. Okay. This isn't the answer. And I'm gonna bust you right in the mouth. <laughs> These guys fighting. Don't worry. Let me up quick. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. So long as we can take the fire choo choo. Okay, I guess that's the only thing we came for. Poor cement quality. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Fine. But if the skipper sees us driving around this, we're dead. Hey, it makes sense, man. Arson cops drive around a fire truck. Fancy place. You know you made it when you've had glass doors in the 40s. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Biggs is tied. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. This tied way too short. <laughs> it's like halfway down his chest. Bother me. May I help you, gentlemen? Man, this guy has two secretaries. Holy I wonder how many shit. more layers we gotta go through to get to this guy. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. 
You like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs! What the hell is a cigar? We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Doubt. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecued, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. That's a lie. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. He has like the Brock syndrome going on right now where his eyes don't open all the way. <laughs> Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? You've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Now... Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Okay, buddy. You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Yeah, I can. Poor cement quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills, do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? That's a threat, if I ever heard one. Glad to be of help, officer. Like how she had that at the ready. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. 
What the hell, you're a secretary and you don't have a phone at your desk? Useless. Your boss is a fine man. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, God. Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. Well, I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Give me a heart. Oh my and God, baby, it's him. I'll bill it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Get away from me, you sleaze ball. Some Buy me a drink, Cole. Fuck you. No. Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about the threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. At least she still lets us live with her. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is six fifty North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. Eleven K en route. Let's go pick him up. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. Bye. Where are we headed? Don't want to get stuck in a scene while I'm driving for half a day again. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stum just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. He's out somewhere. There's some kind Let's of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. It's not really anyone could have those.
We should revise the APP. He's clearly armed. Definitely gives him opportunity. The fact that he's carrying all these flyers is another story, though. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units. Officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. The suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar headed eastbound. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Get a stay on code 3 identified. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Not like he's Sonic the Hedgehog here. What the hell? Paul's really have to. I don't think we can ride this guy off the rail. Probably a time thing. Oh shit! He just bounced me off like a rubber ball. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Did I already do that? Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. Go! Oh, you gotta get me closer! Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Get me closer. I think I got a shot here. Nice. Got it. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Oh, shit. Okay, he's not gonna give up. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. Well, the evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. And I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am not a crook. <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. He worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? You want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. 
Say what you will about Cole. He is definitely happy now. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Moreau and Legion Fields to the grave. Alright, gentlemen, that's it for the walk in the Legion Fields case of arson. Second of five cases, I think. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. The plot thickens even more in the next couple of episodes, so uh, it gets a little infuriating as well. But you guys can look forward to that. As always, if you enjoyed, give a big quick thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. As always, have a fantastic day.